Okay guys, so in today's video, I decided that we should not only focus on calculation when we deal with accounting, but we also have to focus on a theory part because it's part of the marks. So you have to make sure that you master a calculation together with some understanding of the questions. All right, so in today's video, we are going to do audit report and corporate government. So before we start with uh, the previous question paper that I have for today, I want to give you a briefly or a background of audit report. All right, so as you know uh, that under audit report, we have uh, three different types of audit report, okay? I want us to discuss these three types of audit report all right basically what is going to happen here is that they are going to give you a scenario where uh, something happened in a company and they ask you to identify the audit the type of audit report in that situation and from there they're going to ask you a further question from the audit report that you have identified on the previous question which means that this is very important guys to understand these three different types of audit report okay the first one that we have we have unqualified report with number two we have a qualified report then the third one we have a disclaimer report all right so this is three types of audit report that we have of course as you know that as an auditor after you go through all the documents of the company and you prepare financial statement you have to express your independent opinion so after you ex express that uh, opinion as an auditor you have to tell us which report did you identify from this company all right which means that obviously them there might be a good report a better report and a very bad report so now we want to identify which one is good and which one is bad all right so i want us to go through uh, some notes that i have here so let's read the understanding of the first one which is unqualified report this type of report is issued when the financial statement of the company are found to be free from material misstatement and are in accordance with the general accepted accounting principle it is positive report that indicate auditors satisfaction with the company's financial report in other words this is very very good audit opinion in other words auditor has found that everything was prepared according to the principle of accounting which means that every company want uh, this kind of a report okay which means that unqualified is a good report. It's a good report. All right. But in other words, it doesn't mean that uh, the auditor is saying that he is 100% sure about uh, whatever that has been prepared. He is just making assumption according to what, to what he saw or what he go through when he was auditing onto that company. Okay, now let's go to number two, unqualified audit report. A, a qualified audit report is issued when the auditor identifies a certain a limitation in the financial statement that may have a significant impact on overall accuracy and fairness of the information presented. This could be due to inadequate documentation non-compliance with accounting standard and unsolved uncertainties 
The auditor expressed a reservation about the accuracy or completeness of financial statement but still provide an opinion about their overall fairness. So when we talk about a qualified, qualified doesn't mean that it's good. Yes, we know that if they, they tell you that you qualify for something, which means that it's a good. When we come to report, qualified is not uh, that good. Okay. In other words, guys, they're saying that the financial statement, they're fairly presented, but there is something, there is something bit that is missing out. Okay. And they also mentioned that uh, this could be due to inadequate documentation, which means that this can happen because maybe there is a there is no proof that something has happened. Okay, so that's why the the auditor uh, can issue this kind of report because he's not sure about um, the the documents because there's no documents that show the the proof that this something happen all right which means that this is good but something is missing something is missing out okay then the last one uh, we have a disclaimer okay or adverse uh, audit report okay um, this audit report is most a serious type of audit report. It is issued when the auditor determines that the financial statement are materially misstated, misleading, or do not comply with a required accounting principle. This report indicates that the auditor has substantial concern about reliability and accuracy of financial statement and cannot provide any assurance regarding their fairness. And an adverse report or disclaimer report is stronger indicating that there is a serious problem with the company's financial reporting. So guys, this kind of a um, report is very bad. It's very bad. It's when the auditor found that it's not only one error, but there are so many errors into that company. A lot of um, uh, things happen but uh, it, it was not recorded according to what to accounting principle which means that this statement is not fair at all cost okay which means that a lot of corruption might happen so if they talk about a corruption uh, into a scenario of course you have to pick this one a disclaimer note all right so you have to understand this type of report before you go to your question. So now let's check the question that I have. Okay. Uh, 1.2. Audit report and extract of the independent audit report is provided. Okay. Let's first read the information. Okay. It's over LTD extract from the independent auditor report. Based on opinion, a donation of 1.2 million was made to a local community organization for provision of face masks and hand sanitizers to local schools. Proper procedures were not followed and no documents were available to verify the said transaction. In other words, there was no any other proof that is indicating that uh, this... Uh, donation was made to a local school okay then audit opinion in our opinion except a donation that did not follow due process the financial statement are fair presented the financial position of the company on 28 february 2021 in other words the auditor only find one a uh, major error which was a donation so now we have to go to question 1.2.1 1.2.1 Identify the type of report and explain why this type of report was issued by the auditor. Which one do you think it can be correct? Do you think it's a disclaimer? Do you think it's a qualified? In this case, uh, it's going to be 
a qualified is going to be qualified the reason why is qualified is because the financial statement are good but there was only error one error that was identified which was a donation okay 1.2.2 explain two point why shareholder will be concerned about the companies receiving such a report why do you think that the shareholders will be concerned about this report okay this is question 1.2.2 okay obviously the, the 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 shareholders will be concerned about internal control of the company internal controls are weak why are weak because there's no documents that show a donation if there is a internal control obviously those who are responsible for 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 donation they were supposed to have a document that has a proof that there is a donation that has been made to a local schools okay then the second one uh, the shareholders will be concerned about a potential investors obvious if there is a, a serious issue like this investors may pull out investors may pull out or new potential investors may not come and invest into this company because of this kind of uh, error okay then another one is that the directors appointed by the shareholders they are not reliable they are not reliable okay the directors who are responsible are not reliable the directors that are responsible for this kind of transaction they are not reliable at all and the last one we can state that there's no proof of the document no proof that the donation has reached the school it can happen that there was no uh, a donation that has been made at all you find that the, the directors use that money for their personal use okay then the next question uh, it was that the ceo requests that the auditors classify this donation as a sundry expense and adjust the audit opinion accordingly provide two reasons why the auditor will not agree with this suggestion remember we are talking about external auditors they express opinion independently they don't care about the company but they care about their professional okay 1.2.3 so what do you think the auditor will not agree okay number one guys remember auditors are registered auditors auditors are registered with a professional body like saika as you re as you registered for professional body guys if you do something unprofessional they are going to penalize you or they are going to take the certificate that allow you to become auditor which means that they can't risk their job because of a uh, one company okay number two their request is unethical the the, the request of the shareholders are very very unethical okay in this case they are looking for four point okay then another one is that the auditors has to be independent they don't have to take opinion from someone they have to be 
independent okay then the second one is that the auditor the last one is that uh, the auditors uh, may be concerned about the reputation and the future assignment like what i said uh, that remember guys if uh, you as an auditor uh, they find that you are doing something wrong they are not going to give you another companies to work because you are very corrupt okay so this professional body guys they want someone who work truthfully independently without being influenced or without uh, taking a cold drink money so it's not allowed from these professional bodies okay then the last question is that apart from issue mentioned above explain why company will be accused of poor corporate government why do you think that this company will be accused for poor corporate government okay this is question 1.2 24 all right number one they're looking for two point number one the ceo should be in a place uh, to be interested of the company and shareholders first which means that the job of ceo is to make sure that the shareholders are satisfied with the with the company all right which means that in other words when we employ a ceo we want to make sure that uh, the ceo run a company smoothly with no corruption with no issue okay uh, that word will be point number one then the last point um, is that he must exercise ethical behavior in dealing with company matter in other words the ceo must uh, must deal with what ethical behaviors ethical behavior and ensure that he deal with the company's smarter okay so this is how you should answer a uh, audit report and corporate government but what is more important guys is to understand these three types of audit report and make sure that you also know uh, the possible answers that you are going to provide when they ask you why this is good report why this is bad report and how you must be able to to answer that so i hope you learned something into this video thank you so much for watching guys i'm gonna see you on the Next one, goodbye.